Hi, I'm Alice from Downsizing Makes Sense, and I'm doing a review of three different backpacks that I purchased on Amazon um, for a very specific reason. It's not for long hikes. It's for shorter walks, uh, shorter trails, maybe taking the dog into towns that have little festivals because uh, Chewy has congestive heart failure and she can't walk for very long. So these are the three I chose. I deliberately picked three totally different kinds so I could see which one was best for me. So this is the first one I'm reviewing. It's Pets Fit. As you can see, it's rather large. It said in the description, free size. So I guess free size means really big dog. Um, as you can see on my back, I'm about 5'4", around 110. And this is how big it looks on me. So that's one of the things I did not like. My dog is about 11 pounds. So this is a bit much. Um, the other thing I didn't like about it is there are no little side pockets, you know, where you can throw like a little doggy bowl or a treat or something like that. It's just not there. Now, it does have a lot of pros, so if I could find the same thing but much smaller, I'd probably like it. One of the things I really like is it's got this little flap in the front that zips and unzips, but it's got this little, if you roll it, it velcros open, so that's pretty nice. It also has lots of ven ventilation, ventilation here, ventilation here, and ventilation on top. And it's easy to put the dog in and out and zip it closed. So I guess you could just leave this open, um, but it just, again, it's just too big for us. I also liked that it had some of this padding for the wearer. See, it's nice and thick. This is a bit stiff, but at least it does have some padding. Okay, the straps, does uh, they do have a two strap system, which is nice. And this is actually adjustable. So you can push this down or up. So it's got this top strap and this strap. Now, because it's so big, um, I don't really see wearing it on the front which I like the backpacks where you can go either way because again, it's, it's rather big. Um, it does have, but most of them do, a little padded bottom and stiff for the dog. So it does have a lot of pros. It's just too big, it's very heavy, and it's just, I definitely don't see taking this on a really long walk or hike. Maybe for short trips if you have to go through the airport or something like that. But other than that, this is just not my pick. Okay, so this is the second backpack. This one is by Pet Ami. And again, it's a lit little bigger than I really need. And let me show you it on, like the other one. This is the size it on front right away which I actually did do on the trail a little and what I did was I just shoved the top in there so I could pet Chewy. Now cons besides the size of it is still just a little too big it only um, it doesn't have any padding right here it's just cardboard <laughs> and it's rock hard on the bottom and it does kind of have this ventilation padding, but it's not really that much. It um, has uh, nice side pockets, which the other one didn't have, but because they put the side pockets, the side doesn't have much ventilation. So that's a problem. Um, again, it has this big top ventilation, so you can zip. The other thing I didn't like is this cannot be unzipped. That's it. It's just there. Um, there is room for the dog to actually lay down in this one if she's small enough. So it is nice that they have that window, but other than that. So the straps, they do have the two strap system. 
That's the one strap, and then the one below. But again, um, for a long hike or many hours at a festival or something like that, I could see this being uncomfortable. What I do like about it is it's an easy in and out because again, my dog Chewy, uh, she can walk for a little while, but then she needs a rest. So we can just pick her up, put her in, let her rest for a little while, and then take her out and let her walk again. Now the other one had this little strap to attach the leash to too, I forgot to mention, but they both do have it. And just like the other one, it has that little nice Sherpa type-ish bottom on there. But it is rock hard down here. They really should have put some nice cushion back here, some ventilation, but they didn't have that. Okay, this is the last one that I'm gonna review. This one is Paws Crazy, and I thought I was gonna love it because it looks like a hiking bag, and I wanted something super lightweight, something that, you know, I could carry around, wouldn't bother me while I'm walking the dog. This is the kind of padding I'm looking for. Look how nice and thick that is. That's exactly what I was looking for, that kind of padding. But strangely enough, it doesn't have that second strap on top, which I'm really surprised they don't have, especially since this is definitely made for really long hikes. This is the type of thing that you put your dog in there and the dog's staying in there the entire time. Um, so it, what's interesting is, I mean, they have these little ventilation holes, but what they also have, um, they have this one little spot so you at least have some place to store your keys, so on. But then again, it's on your back when you do that. Okay, so this is what this looks like on your back. Give you an idea how nice and small it is. See, it's a nice, compact, super lightweight backpack. So in that way, I really like it. Okay, and this is what it looks like when you put it on front. So. You can pet the little doggy right here. And this is the side view. The last feature that is really interesting, and they kind of made a point of saying this in their description, there's these little pockets on the side, and they, I think they called them like comfort pockets that you can reach in and pet your dog, you know, to soothe them. And I think they have to do that because you can't really get to them any other way. Because the way this works, is you unzip this part, okay? And again, it has the little holder for the leash, I mean, for the collar. So you put them inside and then their head goes through here. And this is what I don't like about this. And it might be okay for a lot of dogs, but my dog, because of her congested heart failure, and she has like, um, she'll cough if you push on her trachea, this actually, is supposed to tighten around their neck. She doesn't like that. <laughs> it, it really bothers her, especially if it's a little bouncy. Can you imagine it hitting her, her neck like that? So that's why this is not the keeper for me. It does have a nice hard bottom for the dog to sit on, but you know, again, if for a super small dog, they might be able to lay down in it and then pop their head back out when they want to. But my dog, uh, it, it was too tight and it was really hard to get her in and out. So for our purposes, it doesn't work for us. If you are on a long hike where you're putting the dog in and they're staying in like the whole entire hike, or I think I've seen pictures where people put this on their back when they're biking. Um, so maybe that'd be good for you in that way. But otherwise, it's just not the one I'm looking for. I did take all three backpacks on a hike, and we do have video of uh, me putting uh, Chewy in and out of the backpacks, what they look like on front, on back. Uh, we even did a little bit of jogging <laughs> to show you what it looks like when she bounces uh, in the backpack, uh, so you can see that. So, of the three, 
even though this one doesn't have a lot of padding, it doesn't have some of the features I want. Of the three, if I had to pick today, this is the one I would pick. I'm still looking, but out of these, this is the one. Um, just too big, too heavy, um, too small, even though it's great lightweight. And this one is just about the right size. And as you can see, she doesn't seem to mind it at all. Now, if you have a doggy backpack that you just love, that works great for, you know, short trails, short hikes, taking the dogs into town, places where they usually don't want dogs walking around, go ahead in the comments and let me know if you have a link to the backpack, that'd be great. Um, I'm not an expert. I'm just an amateur hiker on short hikes. So that's the type of backpack I'm looking for. Um, even if it's a backpack that isn't quite what I'm looking for, again, you can put a link in there, but I'd love to see your suggestions. Um, we are here to help each other. So go ahead and put in whatever links, even if it's a YouTube video where you showed your backpack, I would love to see it. So thank you for watching my review. And I am Alice from Downsizing Makes Sense because downsizing does make sense. This day, we were at Lake Beersford, a day use park. It has a nice trail, heavily wooded and quite peaceful that goes along the lake. As you can see, the pups love it here. Here is the first backpack review, the Pets Fit. You can see that she goes in easily and quickly, not just because of the fast forward feature. I would definitely zip the front window when placing your pet inside or walking. Maybe it's better the front window just for getting her inside. She does move around a lot, but that is because it's big. And here I am switching very easily from the back to the front but it is a bit cumbersome because it is big. See, there's the top flap that I would prefer to leave open. This is a nice walk along Lake Beersford. As you can tell, it is quite beautiful and quite peaceful. Here's the next backpack, the Pet Ami, and you can tell very easily she goes inside, going in from the top. And here I am lifting her onto my back which is pretty easy, as you can see. And it has the strap at the bottom and a strap on the top. And there she is safely sitting on her little bottom. She looks quite comfortable. I can kind of reassure her by reaching around, but this is how I prefer for her to be able to poke her head out the top. And then I can reach around and pet her head. She bounces a little because this is a little bigger than needed. And here I am switching again from back to front. And you can tell that it does switch pretty easily. And there you can see the ventilation on the side and she looks quite comfy sitting on her bottom. And I prefer the front backpacks so I can get kisses and give kisses and reassure my pet the whole walk. Here's another little piece of the lake showing you what a great walk it is. This is the last of the three backpacks, Crazy Paws, and it looks a lot rougher than it really was because we fast forwarded because it took us so long to try to get her in that backpack. She really didn't want to go in it and cinching her up and the zip and around her neck. But it does go easily on your back. As you can see, she really doesn't move around that much. Her head does bob a little, but she is much more secure. So for a very long walk, I can see why you would use this backpack. It's very comfortable to use and you can reach her. Now I'm gonna switch from the back to the front, which again is my preferred so it's good to know that you can. And there's the little special pocket so you can reach in and comfort them. Put your hands right in to touch them. But 
again, this is what I prefer, is be able to reach her, hold on to her, give her a little kiss of reassurance. As you can see, she does bounce a little, but her body doesn't really move. But this is the one that out of the three works best for us. You can tell it's easier if you have someone else wearing it. Of course, <laughs> jogging might not be the best for this type of backpack or just bouncing up and down or trying to dance and jog at the same time. Too much movement. And again, even with help, trying to fit your dog into this pack, almost dropping her a few times, is quite difficult. So it's not a good backpack if you're gonna have your dog get in and out, in and out of the pack. She often tried to stick one leg out, as you can see there. Um, so we had to kind of shove her, her leg back in there. So, and, but, you know, jogging, her head does bounce up and down, but the rest of her body is pretty secure. So if you were to take your dog on longer hikes, not taking her in and out, that might be the best one. And here they are, free form. Glad to be out roaming about. One last time, we're gonna show you how easy the one that we picked out of the three, you can put the dog in and out if it's only for short trips and the straps adjust very quickly, very easily for each person that wears it. Now the bottom is rock hard, so if you wear it for a long time, it will hurt your lower back. Here I am switching from the back to the front. Pretty easy, as you can see. And again, my favorite reason for having a front-loading backpack is so I can see my pup the whole time and most importantly, kisses, lots of kisses. And just to send a little love your way, here's the real Larry. This is what he's really like. Thank you very much for watching this video of our dog backpack review. Please leave comments below, like which backpack would you use? Was one of these your favorite? Do you have a favorite that's not in this review? Links and descriptions of the packs will be below the videos. We would love to see you again, so please like and subscribe. Also, I will have a detailed blog post coming very soon. And always remember, downsizing does make sense.